Let's talk about the features in the Creality CR10 version 2. Even if Creality has a lot of 3D printer variations, they still do not have a 3D printer that you won't need to upgrade. The headache-free 3D printer that will just print every time, anytime, all the time. They have been on fire releasing a slew of 3D printers in 2019, and yet each and every one of them requires a tweak here, an upgrade there, and that's still the case with the Creality CR10 version 2. I will harp on three or four things I do not like about the new CR10 version 2, and a bunch of things that I do like. However, the negatives weigh more for me than the positives because it seems to me as carelessness. Most major bonus point is the Trinamic 2208 stepper driver based ultra quiet motherboard. This motherboard is exactly what we want. For the first time buyer, this benefit may seem normal. But for others that have dealt with the noise, this is a godsend. I only wish they will come up with the motherboard separately so we can upgrade our older 3D printers. Second major bonus point is the mean well power supply. 350 watts 24 volts which makes everything faster when it comes to heating the bed or the nozzle and it's easier and you can get to printing faster the third major bonus point is that we get two extruders with this 3d printer one is the far end or the bowden base extruder and the other one is the imported titan extruder which is a direct extruder the fourth major bonus point is the all metal hot end slash heat break throat this keeps the bowden tube out of the hot area enabling higher temperatures and longer life for the bowden tube the all metal hot end seems better fitted for the direct extruder option and I wonder if Creality will make available an option direct extruder ready to just purchase it rather than modify it after you receive it. Time would only tell. In addition the 3D printer is BL Touch ready but is not included and you have to buy that separately. I'm assuming that the 3D printer comes already with a feature or the option built into the menu to enable the BL Touch. I think that's what it means ready, right? And to top it all, I definitely like the blue color scheme. That's really, really nice. Overall, this 3D printer has many big and small improvements, but I do not understand two of the claims. One claim is that the 3D printer uses 1.5 times more metal. Is that as opposed to the original Creality CR10 or all the 3D printers from Creality? That's a little bit ambiguous, but it's interesting, right? Because that means that more metal means more heft and less vibrations. Secondly, what do they mean by high standard V-shaped profile? I'm curious what that means and I would like to get a confirmation from somebody in the comments below. Furthermore, they reiterate the same story about the high quality V profile selected, more stable, without vibration, smoothly printed out with high accuracy. So this is the thing. I'm assuming that these are the V-slot rails. But does this mean that all the other 3D printers have been produced with poorer processes of extruding the aluminum? Shout it in the comments if you know anything about this process. And now let's go to the negatives which weigh much more for me than the positives. Number one con for me is the separate power supply or the separate control box. They could have just used the CR10 Pro style base. And that actually raises the question why would they upgrade the Creality CR10 rather than Creality CR 10 S Pro. Because the Creality CR 10 S Pro was already a better product, why not just upgrade that with the newest features and the newer rails and make it a more sturdy product and more innovative and more satisfactory product for the users? Every time I have to move my CR10 S5, I dread the fact that it does have the box next to it because moving the printer becomes so much more difficult. So I literally do not understand. They should have went for the CR10 S Pro design rather than the outside separate box with all these cables. In addition, these cables to manage are too short. One, automatically you need an update there to get the extender cables. And two, they're a hassle to organize so it truly doesn't make a lot of sense why they did this move. That's beyond me. They may explain it at some point, but it doesn't make sense to me at all. CR10 S Pro would have been the way to go. Oh. The second issue I don't like is the fact that we get two extruders and none of them is dual gear. The CR10 S Pro comes with a dual gear extruder and both gears are chamfered, which grip the filament much better than anything else. In addition to the fact that both extruders are single gear, each of those gripping gears are a straight wall gear, therefore they grind the filament more. So that's a third problem for me. And if I were to receive this printer as a gift, probably that would be the first upgrade. Upgrade the extruder to a dual gear extruder. 
And the fourth disappointing issue on this 3D printer is the fact that they're still using this legacy design of the bed rocking back and forth on the Y axis. I don't understand why Creality doesn't just leave the design behind and move to a vertical bed mover design for all their 3D printers. They can call them CR10 or whatever they want, but as long as they move the bed vertically, it's much easier for the printouts to look way better, especially with all these other improvements that they're coming out with. It is kind of cruel that they just came out with the Ender 5 Plus with the same crappy components in the filament path since forever ago. And just as a slap in the face for all those who bought the Ender 5 Plus, now they have better components for the Creality CR10 version 2. They should have released the Ender 5 and Ender 5 Plus with the same components in the filament path as the Creality CR10 version 2. That would have been the normal thing to do to maintain your community satisfied. So I would like to see a true Core XY in similar volume with the Ender 5 Plus with all the best components from all the 3D printers into one. The dual gear extruder, a carriage design for the near end extruder and the far end extruder, which would be the dual gear extruder, a BL touch, the upgraded motherboard, the high quality rails, a dual power supply for the large bed, linear rails, the all metal hot end and everything in between. That's the 3D printer I would like to see from Creality. A 3D printer that you just fire up and it prints with no headaches and it can long 3D print and you just fire up and prints. I would like to see that. Anyway, that is just like a shot in the dark and I'm curious if this will come to pass. Until then, I bid thee mon amis farewell and adieu.